Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a little guessing game. Basically, we will define a secret word and then the user can go ahead and try to guess that secret word until they get it right. And this is a scenario where we can actually use something like a while loop to help us program it. So down here in my Java file, I just have this scanner that I set up. It's called keyboard input. And I just set it equal to a new scanner. And up here, I'm importing the scanner into our Java file so we can use it. Now down here, I want to start writing the code for our little guessing game. And the first thing that we want to do is define a secret word. So like I said, we're going to have a secret word and then the user is going to try to guess what that secret word is. So I'm going to make a variable and we'll make a string and we're just going to call it secret word. And I'm just going to set this equal to like draft. So draft is going to be our secret word. The next thing we need is a variable which is going to store the user's guesses. So every time the user guesses, we'll store their guess inside of this variable. So I can just make another string and we'll just call it guess. And I'll set this equal to an empty string because they haven't guessed anything yet. So we'll just leave it blank. Now, here's what I want to do. I want the user to be able to guess what the word is. And then if they get it wrong, I want them to be able to guess again. So basically the user is going to be able to keep guessing the word until they get it right. And in order to do something like that, we need to use a loop. And in this situation, we can use a while loop. So I'm just going to type out a while loop. It's going to be while open and close parentheses, open and close curly brackets. Now, we want to define a loop condition. This is basically going to be a condition which is going to tell us how long we want to loop for. So what I want to check is I want to check to see if the guess, in other words, I want to check to see if what the user guessed is equal to the secret word. So in here I can say guess dot equals secret word. And I want to keep looping as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word. So I can use this exclamation point. And basically what this exclamation point does is it negates whatever is over here. So I want to loop through this loop as long as the user hasn't guessed correctly. But when the user guesses correctly, I want to break out of the loop. And that's what this is going to do up here. It's basically saying guess dot equals secret word. And if that's equal to false, then we want to set it equal to true using this not symbol. So hopefully that makes sense what we're doing up there. It's basically saying while the guess is not equal to the secret word, then we want to keep looping. And so down here, we can basically display a prompt to the user to enter a guess. So I can say system dot out dot print. Actually, we'll just do print. And in here, we can just say enter a guess. And then below this, we want to store the value that they guess inside of this guess variable. So I'm just going to say guess is equal to keyboard input dot next line. And this will basically just grab whatever text they put into the line and it'll store it inside of this guess variable. So now we're, we're actually able to store what the user guesses. And so this is going to work really well, right? So we're going to ask the user to enter a guess. They'll enter the guess. We'll store it in this guess variable. And then up here, we're basically going to check to see if the guess is equal to the secret word or not. If the guess is equal to the secret word, then we'll break out of the loop. If the guess isn't equal to the secret word, then we're going to keep looping. So if we have gotten past this while loop, that means the user got the word correct. So we can just print out a success message you win. So they, that means they won the game. All right. So this is basically everything that we're going to need for this game to work. So why don't we head over to our console and we'll try to play. So I'm just going to click the run button. And now over here we get our prompt enter a guess. So I'm just going to enter like some random words. We'll just put my name. That's not the secret word dog cat. None of these are the secret word. So you see, I can basically keep guessing. I can keep entering in guesses until I get the secret word correct. And now we'll actually put in the secret word, which is draft. And we should get that success message, which says you win. So there we go. We got our success message 
and now we have our functional game. So we have a game that totally works and we can try to guess what the word is. But here's the thing, a lot of times in these games, you'll want to limit the amount of guesses that the person has. So down here we have our very simple game, but let's say we want to make it a little bit more complex. So we want to say that the user can only guess the word a certain number of times. And if they can't get the word in, let's say like three or four guesses, then they'll lose the game and we'll basically like say, hey, you lose. Well, we can actually add that functionality in here to our program. So in order to do that, I'm gonna create a few new variables. And the first variable I'm gonna create is gonna be an integer. And this is basically gonna be called guess count. And this integer is just gonna keep track of how many times the user has tried to guess the secret word. So every time we the user guesses the secret word, we're gonna increment this variable. So let's go down here and Every time the user does a guess, we're gonna increment this. So down here at the bottom, I can just say guess count plus plus. And this is just gonna increase the guess count every time we go through this loop. Another variable I wanna create is gonna be called guess limit. And it's gonna be an integer as well. And this is basically gonna be like how many guesses the user is able to have. So if we put like three here, then the user would only be able to try to guess the word three times. And if they can't get it in three guesses, then they're gonna lose the game. Then I wanna create one more variable, and this is gonna be a Boolean variable. And basically this variable is gonna tell us whether or not the person has lost the game. So whether or not they've guessed too many times. So this is gonna be called out of guesses, and we're just gonna set this equal to false. So if out of guesses is equal to true, then the user will have run out of guesses. All right, so let's add some of this stuff into our while loop. We already incremented this counter over here. So we already have that set up, but we need to put some logic in here to figure out if the user has guessed three times or not. So I'm gonna use an if statement and I'm just gonna put it inside this while loop. And we're just gonna say if, and basically I wanna check to see if the user has used up all their guesses. So I can check if guess count is less than guess limit. So in other words, if they haven't guessed as many times as the guess limit, then we'll give them another guess. So inside this if statement, I'm just gonna put these lines of code. Otherwise, and actually we're gonna increment the guess count as well. Otherwise, I'm gonna use this else statement Otherwise, we want to tell the user that they're out of guesses. So we can just set that Boolean equal to true. So I'm gonna say out of guesses is equal to true. And so now we have a way of determining whether or not the user has run out of guesses. So let me walk you guys through this one more time because this is kind of a lot of code. Every time we go through this loop, in other words, every time we can offer the user a guess, we wanna check to see if the guess count is less than the guess limit. If the guess count is less than the guess limit, that means they have some guesses remaining. So we'll give them the prompt and we'll allow them to guess again and then we'll increment the guess count. If the guess count is equal to the guess limit or greater than the guess limit, then we're gonna set this out of guesses Boolean value equal to true. And what we can actually do now is modify the loop condition. Up here, we're gonna keep looping as long as the guess isn't equal to the secret word but we also wanna stop looping if they're out of guesses. So what I can say is and not out of guesses. So basically this is saying we wanna keep looping as long as the guess isn't equal to the secret word and as long as they're not out of guesses. So if they are out of guesses, then we'll break out of this loop. So that's basically how this is gonna work. And we wanna do one more thing. So I'm actually gonna come down here after this while loop, and you'll see here we're just printing you win. But if they break out of the while loop, there's actually two possibilities. The first possibility is that they won the game, right? They guessed correctly. But the other possibility is that they ran out of guesses, right? Because up here in this condition, one of the ways that we can break out of this loop is if they're out of guesses, right? So what I can do is basically check to see what situation we're dealing with. I can say if out of guesses. So in other words, if out of guesses is true, 
then we can give them a message saying like you lose, right? Because they ran out of guesses. So you lose, no more guesses. Otherwise, since we know they're not out of guesses, it must mean that they won. So we can paste this code into here. So I know this is a lot of code. Um, let's see if it works and then I'll just walk you guys through it one more time. So I'm just gonna click play over here and we will run our program. So let's go ahead and try to lose the game. So I'm just gonna enter in a bunch of guesses. One, two, and this is my third guess. So I entered in three guesses. I didn't get the secret word correct. So now it's gonna say, you lose, no more guesses, right? That kind of sucks. But let's see if we can win the game. So I'll say, here's one fake guess, and then we'll actually guess the word. So we'll say draft, and it's gonna say that you won. So now we have our game even more functional, right? We can allow the player to only guess a certain number of times. And if I wanted to modify how many times the player could guess, I could change this guess limit variable. All right, so that was a lot of code. I wanna walk you guys through this one more time. I created a few variables up here. One's called secret word, one's called guess. And then I created three more variables, the guess count. And this keeps track of how many times the user has tried to guess the word. We have the guess limit. This is the maximum amount of times that the user can guess until they run out of guesses. And then out of guesses is a Boolean variable, which is gonna tell us whether or not the user is out of guesses. Here in this while loop, we're gonna keep looping through the loop as long as the guess is not equal to the secret word and as long as we're not out of guesses. Inside of this loop, we're checking to see if the guess count is less than the guess limit, then we're gonna print out our prompt and we're gonna let them enter a guess and we'll increment guess count. Otherwise, if the guess count is equal to the guess limit, then they're out of guesses, right? They've guessed as many times as they can. So we're gonna set this equal to true and that's gonna break us out of the loop. When we get broken out of the loop, there's one of two situations. The first situation is that they run out of guesses, right? So we can check to see if that's the situation. And if it is, we're printing out you lose. The other situation is when they won, right? So they entered enough words and it's just gonna say you win. So there is our basic guessing game and that kind of shows you like one scenario where we would wanna use a while loop in Java. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.